Hi, this is Megan McJade with Goddess Elite. I'm bringing you an Oracle deck, which I really like. Um, this Oracle deck is called the uh, Buddha Wisdom Shakti Power deck. Um, let me see if I can get it up there in the camera a little bit better. Uh, the Buddha Wisdom Shakti Power deck. The nice thing about this deck is it works. Um, Buddhist, it has Buddhist imageries, but it has a lot of imagery that's very, very, um, Hindu. Um, it works well with, um, personas or personalities in the Hindu, um, uh, system as well. Um, I love these cards. They're colorful. They're beautiful. They've never failed to inspire me in terms of self-growth and in terms of working for others uh, the energy that they work so well um, the back is kind of nice so we'll show you that right off the bat and um, we have having camera problems tonight I think it's because I'm tired but anyway there you go um, I'm just gonna go through the cards rather than try to name each one I want you to give you an idea of the wonderful energy that's in this deck, the wonderful personalities that are in this deck. Um, if you are drawn to Eastern uh, anything, you're going to want this deck. This deck is a wonderful deck. And I'm um, going to show you some of these cards right, right now. So there's a wonderful Ganesha. But Beautiful card. Um, green Tara. There's even a chakra card for those of you who like chakras. Oh, I should be putting on my glasses if I'm going to be reading some of these. I just get a lot of shine on the lenses, so I try not to wear them when I'm doing reviews. Um, uh, para. Um, para. Yeah, para. Para. To, my eyes are very bad. You guys should know that. Uh, Paratha, the ancient tantric mother goddess. Really beautiful card. Um, red bikini. I love these cards. Kubara. I think one of the things that really draws me to Hinduism and Buddhism is not just the spirituality, which I've always resonated with. Um, always has resonated with me, but uh, I actually got to go and live in Nepal, India for a period of time when I was younger and uh, actually got to climb part of the Himalayan mountain range. Most of you don't know that about me. Uh, but uh, I've just developed, go visiting all the temples, and visiting the, uh, visiting the culture, the, the, the people, and the, the richness of everything that was in uh, both India and Nepal. We uh, lived in a little Tibetan refugee camp outside of Kathmandu. Uh, just the richness of the culture is represented in this duck, and I take this duck out and get to it. Uh, it just takes me back to walking the streets and, and the beauty, beautiful shrines. Um, I cannot believe this 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 whole deck is is like a trip down memory lane for me because I've seen so many of these um, divine uh, beings in their temples um, overseas, and for me this is uh, tremendous. 
uh, trip down memory lane, I guess. It was a wonderful trip. Did he ever get a chance to go to Nepal or India? Go! <laughs> the food is wonderful, and uh, the people are wonderful, beautiful too. Yeah, but the whole culture is just wonderful. I'm just going through the cards here to give you an idea of what they are. Um, going to begin to skip a couple of them. And I don't want to skip any of them. They are all so beautiful. They are all so meaningful. And the depth of the readings you can do with these given the spirituality that they represent and the, the, the richness of the spirituality they represent is uh, really something else. So, um, you guys always have to be understanding that whenever you see a review by me, not responsible for any nudity on the cards. <laughs> There's a lot of cards that have nudity in them of various kinds. So, which absolutely does not phase me whatsoever. But, uh, is it so? It really adds to the richness and the symbology of the card a lot of times. And this card is coming up is so pretty. So beautiful. Who is this? Uh, Param, Paramara, Param. I can say this ten times. You gotta understand, I'm getting tired and I'm getting punchy. Um, Param, Param, Tito, the goddess of the three, the goddess of the three times. find that interesting. The goddess of the three times. Oh, I've always loved this guy. Vajrapani. Always love Vajrapani. The one that challenges us to uh, the guardian of the temple gate. Challenges us to understand the nature of our fear and when we're afraid of something. Beautiful card. Oh, the Medicine Buddha. I love this card, too. Uh, Sri Yantra. Sri. Sri Yantra. I find that interesting because it is the image of a mandala. And they name it Sri. Sri in, in Hindi represents whenever you meet somebody um, who's, who, if you work a little bit with Hindi, Shri means mister. It's kind of like mister. It's a recognition of the male kind of energy or, or the maleness. So, Shri. Uh, anyway, there are, I've gone through so many of these cards and there are so many more that I could go through. Um, but I'd like to leave. Some, oh, you gotta see this. Oh, you gotta see this Ganesha. <laughs> I love this Ganesha. Just an overjoyed dancing Ganesha. I love it. Dance. Dancing Ganesha. Um, here's another Vajrapani. Yeah. The Magician. This is a great card. I love this card. Look at the color. The Magician. You can almost see some parallels between this Magician card and the Magician in the Tarot. The Tarot, you have this figure that is in charge of, or is in command of all of the different suits and all of the um, all of the elements and is able to manipulate all things and magically transform. And here you got him doing almost the same thing with all those arms, able to manipulate so many things. 
Um, well, anyway, I don't want this to get too, too uh, prolonged. But uh, if you if you are looking for a deck that has the richness of of Hinduism and Buddhism incorporated into it, that truly kind of represents a lot of uh, a lot of the culture and the beauty of the religions of both uh, Buddhism and Hinduism. You cannot go wrong getting this duck. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I try to always make sure Melissa gets this one and back in stock again because it's, it's I just have to pick this camera so don't go. Uh, because it is such a beautiful deck to work with. It's a beautiful deck in and of itself. Uh, and the cards are so rich. So if, uh, like I said, you're looking for a deck that works that those energies, you cannot go wrong with this, this deck. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. And um, we'll catch you around in the next one.